This is a recipe for gougeres. Not everything you bake is sweet. A lot of things can be savory, like this recipe. This recipe is like a cream puff without cream, but with the addition of ham and cheese and some chives. So it becomes a really nice snack. It becomes a great appetizer or for a cocktail party or for watching a football game or whatever. It's just really, really good. In this pot, I've got one cup of water and four ounces or one stick of butter, and I am melting them together. Oh, and a pinch of salt, and I'm melting them together until they come to a boil. One cup of flour, four eggs, and now let's talk about the savory ingredients. I have some ham here, approximately generous half cup of ham, and I had a ham the other day, so I took a couple of pieces and chopped it up and I made dice. You want really, you want small pieces of ham. You don't want big chunks because these are small. These are about that big when they're done. And so an equal amount or close to it of cheese. In this case, I'm using Gruyere cheese. Gruyere is one of my favorite cheeses in the entire world. It is such a great melting cheese. It's the only cheese I use when I make quiche Lorraine and a few other things. It's just a beautiful cheese. It's a Swiss variety. It's wonderful. Again, those are diced up really fine, just like the ham. And then here I have some finely chopped uh, chives, uh, about two tablespoons. And we're going to add all those in. And then I have another piece of Gruyere cheese on a whole, but I've got a grater because after we um, make them, we're going to grate some cheese on top even more. So when this is, when this comes to a boil and the butter melts, then I'm going to add the flour and then we're going to finish it off on the mixer. And then we'll bake it in a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 22 minutes until they're nice and puffed up and golden brown. Really good stuff. So. Let's just wait until this boils. All right, it is coming to a boil. Just gonna let it go just a little bit more. And throw in all my flour. This is, we're making nothing more than a pot of choux, which we've made before. Again, you just want to really mix it up well and get, get the flour all blended in. And make sure it comes away from the sides of the pan that's not sticking, which that is not beautiful. I will get rid of my burner. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, now into my mixer bowl. And as we've done in the past with any kind of pot of choux dough, we're going to let this sit on the mixer oh, for a few minutes, two to three minutes, so that it cools down a bit. Because it's really way too warm right now to do anything with. While that's mixing, I'm going to show you, I have here a, a pastry bag with a tip on it. It's a very wide tip so that the ham and the cheese can come through it. I'm just going to pipe on, I'm putting it into this because I, it's hard to fill it otherwise. I'm just not really good with holding it in one hand and filling. So we'll fill that up. If you don't have one of those, don't worry about it. You can use a, a Ziploc bag, anything. But make sure it's the freezer quality plastic bag because if it's the thinner one and you put this warm stuff in it, you start squeezing, the seams will give away on that and then you're gonna have a mess all over the place. All right, that's cooled down enough that I can start adding the eggs one at a time.
all of our eggs. I'm going to give it one or two minutes to just really blend well. I'm going to give it a little wipe down. Make sure all that stuff on the sides is getting blended with the rest of it. We'll scrape up from the bottom. Back on. That's all nicely blended on the very low speed. I will start adding my ingredients. There go the chives. Get every last little piece of that cheese in there and the ham. You could actually you know, come up with your own combinations. You could put in bacon in this if you really wanted to. Or... I like this combination though. Okay. Now, clean off our paddle. Now fill up our bag. I just don't know how people can do that. They, they hold the bag in one hand and they're scooping. And if I'm scooping with one hand, this is what's happening with my bowl. I just, I guess I'm just not very coordinated. How many will these make? Depends on how big you make them. We'll, we'll find out in a few minutes. Every time it's a little bit different, usually around 20, 25. Okay, now, I've got two sheets here, I may use them both, I may not. Got them marked with parchment. These will spread a little, they will puff up. So just give them a little bit of room. look yummy to me already. And then I have some egg wash here. We're going to egg wash the top. And then, as I said before, sprinkle on some more of that grated Gruyere, that, which is just so cheesily beautiful. No idea what that was. If I can, beautiful. Okay. Now, egg wash. And you want to kind of pat down that little peak that you put in there. 
try to keep these as nice and round as possible. So just as you're dabbing on, you can just kind of push down a little bit. Don't flatten these. You want to have some height. I have something else in my oven right at the moment, so I can't put these right in. But as soon as it comes out, like I said, into that 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. But I would ch check it around 18, because these are not large. Some people tend to make them really large. Now you could also, if you wanted to, depending upon your taste, into the batter before you finished mixing, you could have put in a little cayenne if you wanted a little kick. I guess I'm being a wuss. I'm just keeping them plain. they all get enough cheese on them. Okay, so there, as soon as my oven is free, I think it's going to be free in a couple of minutes, I'll put these in for 20 to 22 minutes. Here are gougères hot out of the oven. They're a little too hot to eat right now. You want to eat these warm or at room temperature, but this is blazing, you know, so five minutes and we can eat them. If you want to make these before time and freeze them, you can take, once they're cool, you can take this whole tray like this, put it in the freezer, wait till that's frozen solid, hour, two hours, take them out, pack them into freezer bags, take out as much air as possible, put them in the freezer, they'll keep up to three months. When you want to reheat them, take as many as you want out, put them on a prepared sheet, either silpat lined or parchment lined or greased, whatever you want. Put as many as you want at 350 for six to eight minutes. So you could make a whole bunch of these before time, have them in your freezer ready to go. Hope you try them and I hope you enjoy them. You saw how easy they were. Mm -hmm.